Okay, hi you guys. So I am just uh hanging around in downtown ATL. Um I just got through running some errands and handling some business and stuff like that. And now I wanna go get me something to eat, but I don't know, like I want to sit outside and eat and I actually might end up waiting a little later because it's still kind of hot outside but I do want to sit outside and eat and I'm about to take this shortcut because don't have got time for ATL's traffic. But I want to sit outside and eat and it's still a little warm and you know as much as I like Atlanta, I just, I don't really see too many places where I can sit outside and enjoy me a meal. And I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I feel like Atlanta should have more of those. Like, I don't, you know, I don't know how everybody else feels about eating outside. But, like, if the weather is good, you know, it's not too hot, not too cold, and there's, like, a nice light breeze or something like that, I could see myself doing some brunch outside or something like that. But I don't really, I don't really see that many places to where I can sit outside and eat. Um... The other thing, too, is I was shopping around for a yellow eyeshadow because the thing about it is I really like the way that yellow looks on me, but, like, so, okay, I have a yellow eyeshadow, but the thing about it is it looks kind of chalky a little bit. And I don't know if that's like, I don't know if that's just how yellow show up. Like, I don't know if that's a user error. I don't know if it's the brand. Because I got, uh, the yellow that I got is from Makeup Revolution. It's in like a little palette and it's from Makeup Revolution. And I have some on right now and I actually, I like the way that it looks. But I don't know if it's supposed to actually look like this or if it's supposed to, like, I just, I, I guess I want it to be a little bit more vibrant. Y'all gotta be careful because police right here. But I guess I just want it to be a little bit more vibrant. Like, I don't know. Like, it looks kind of, it looks kind of d d dusty. See? Girl. But, like, it just looks a little dusty to me. So, like, I don't know, like, if anybody has any tips or tricks or anything as far as wearing yellows. And, like, the same thing happens with my blues and my oranges. So, I don't know if, if like I said, I need to get a, um get a different brand of yellow like I don't know if I need to wet the eyeshadow first like I don't know but I just I do know I want it to pop a little bit more because I notice that when I see other people wear yellows and I see um you know people doing their makeup and they put on the yellows like it just it really really it pops or like I don't, I don't know or maybe I'm just tripping I don't know but like I like the way the eyeshadow looks but I just want it to be a little bit brighter so if anybody has any tips or tricks for that Please help you good sis out. But I, I think that's it. That's all I want to talk about right now. I am getting some video footage together from my trip in Houston. And I didn't I didn't record a whole lot of stuff that I did while I was out there because what I was doing, quite frankly, was kind of boring. Except for when I went to the archery class, but my uncle didn't go with me like I was hoping he would, so I didn't get footage of that. But, like, everything I was doing was, you know, kind of boring, quite frankly. Like, I was, um, up until me and my homegirl went to the turkey leg hut. So, I'm going to see if she'll send me that, that footage and stuff like that. And, you know, hopefully she'll let me be, she'll be so gracious and let me post it on my little page or whatever. But, like, yeah, I was just out there, you know, looking at the school and stuff like that. And then, you know, I, I do have to go back because although I, I pretty much did everything that I needed to do, I still have to, like, look at housing. And the thing about it is, like, I've been on Zillow, right? And so I'm trying... My, my goal is to narrow down the places that I want to potentially live at before I go out there because I don't want to have like 15 to 16 different places that I'm looking at because I feel like that's going that's I feel like that's gonna be a lot so I feel like the thing to do would be to narrow it down to about six places like 
you know, make a list of all the things that I really, really want and I really, really need. Like, I really, really want a safe neighborhood, you know. I, I really want three bedrooms, but if I can't get three bedrooms, then two will be just fine. Because at the end of the day, it is just me. And, you know, I think I'm going to just make a list of everything that I... My needs are going to come before my wants. So I'm going to make a list of everything I need first. And then, you know, I'm going to put a few wants in there. And if I can find the house that I want or find the townhouse that I want and uh, that I need and it has some of the things that I want, then I think that's the ones that I'm going to, you know, go with. So, I don't know. And I'm also trying to go ahead and start planning so I can make this move as easy as possible. Now, I have it kind of sort of all worked out in my head i don't know if it's gonna work that way but you know i, I kind of sort of have everything worked out in my head and i guess i'll talk about that <laughs> a little bit later but i mean not later in this video but like i'll talk about that some other time but i think i have my moving plans all worked out in my head because this this move is definitely gonna have to happen on the weekend so yeah that i mean i think and i think that's it i'm headed back home dang i forgot that i can't there's no exit this way shit well whatever but um oh and i need some gas too before i be on the side of the road somewhere so i am going to go ahead and stop this video i'm going to go get some gas and i guess i will do a video of like my plans as far as moving because the thing about it is like I stress myself out about certain things but like when I just sit there and I and I talk it can you go like are we stopping at green lights now is that the thing but like I was like I was saying um when I just sit there and I you know kind of write things out or just kind of like talk myself through certain things it it you know it it makes life a lot easier for me because the thing about it is like when it comes to me planning stuff like I be over here flipping out and I, I have like I guess I have like little mini anxiety attacks or what I don't want to call it an anxiety attack because I know people get anxiety attacks for like for real for real so I don't want to just be sitting there labeling what I'm you know so I'll just say I'd be flipping out from time to time so I do be flipping out because it's like it seems like it's like a very daunting task and I think that's why I'm planning so early because it's like I don't plan on moving until like next year so next I want to say next year in August is when I plan on moving but for me personally now is the time to go ahead and start planning because it's like you have to consider the fact that there's going to be things going on in between um you know the time that I move you know I'm probably going to want to take a few trips and stuff like that so it's like I think it's just it's just best and it's it's more responsible on my part if I just go ahead and start planning now which I have been doing and I need to go ahead and get some quotes and some estimates and stuff like that as far as like the U-Haul truck um I'm not gonna I'm trying not to go into too much detail because I am gonna make like a different video about it but yeah I just like I've went on ahead and started planning and stuff like that even though like I'm almost a whole year out before I um before I officially move and stuff like that so I and then that's just how I'm trying to be like I'm trying to get out of the uh procrastination habit because I do have a habit of procrastinating even though things usually turn out fine even after I procrastinate but I just don't need that extra pressure on me and I am going to actually hush for real for real this time because my gas hand is dangerously like my, my light isn't on yet but it is kind of low and I do not feel like calling Mr. Muhammad to have to come and get me so I'm gonna stop and get some gas and y'all have a nice day goodbye